Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft Word. In this module, I want to talk about how you can keep paragraphs together and how you can stop paragraphs being split across pages. So what I've got on the screen there is two paragraphs. And if I just make this bottom paragraph go onto a second page, you'll see what's going to happen by default. So I'm just going to press enter and the whole paragraph dropped onto a second page. Now, if I undo that, the reason being is if I double, double click in the margin there, it'll just highlight that paragraph, is because there is a feature called Widow and Orphan, which is on. Now, if I just take that off for a minute, just to show you what this now what's now going to happen, press and enter. Now it's not dropping down. It's creating a Widow and Orphan text. If I just come down here and paste the definition I've got of that, so these are the definitions of what is a widow and what is an orphan. So the last line of a paragraph appears alone at the top of a new page, which is what's just happened there. So that there is widow. And then the orphan would be, in this case, the rest of that, or it could just be the last line as well. So I'll just get rid of these two. So they're on by default. So if that's happening to you, that means somebody in your organization has taken that tick off. Um, just get, me, get myself back up there. So that is on by default. If I go back in there, put it back on. Okay. Now, another thing that you might want to happen is that, let's say that both of these paragraphs are related and you want them always to be together. So if I highlight these, go back into that paragraph format, area and you've got this keep with next if i tick that and keep lines together i'll probably take that as well but just let's see what i'm if i do this so now that's jumped down but it's split this it split this paragraph i don't want it to do that so i'm just going to do Control z and i'm also going to take that keep lines together so keep with next and that i'll do both Clicking OK, now the whole thing drops down. If I just backspace that up. So these two paragraphs will never be split over two pages. There will never be a page break there unless you put one there. This is always going to drop down as a set. So I'll just press Enter again to show you that. Down it went onto a new page. Now the downside to having that is obviously you can t you can have blank spaces in your documents like this. This is a lot of blank space I've got there. I've got some text further up, but there's a, a big chunk of blank space in there. And that's, that's what could happen if you have that set. So I'll just highlight these two again and take that off. I don't want that on. So I'm taking both of those off. I'm going to leave the, um, the widow and orphan control on, as I always do. Then click OK to that. Now, in terms of text, let's say you've got a text string that you want to always stay together and always drop onto the, a new line, the whole thing. So if I type, for example, Mr. Steve Saxton, as that text gets to the end of a line, if I just space bar that across till it gets to the end, it's going to wrap around and drop down one word at a time like that split over two lines in this case now i don't want that to happen so there is a feature i can use called a non-breaking space that i can put between each of these words that is not in the paragraph area that is in insert symbols so if i go to insert symbols once you get the symbol dialog box on the screen once you get this, it's called special characters. In there, you have what's called a non-breaking space. Non-breaking space. You could use that key command. So you curse my cursor's there, look. So I'd have to insert it there. And then I'd have to get my cursor after Steve and insert it there. And then close this. So now that is 
all one it's dropped onto a separate line so if i press my tab key to move this across to the other side when i get to the end the whole thing as you saw there wrapped around not one single word dropped down it was a whole sentence if you like my name and if you want to see the non-breaking spaces if you put show hide on you can see the tabs that I've just done there and you can see these little circles between these words those are the non-breaking characters that you can see when you've got show hide activated so just to recap then if you want the paragraphs to stay together you're going into the paragraph area and you tick ticking these two on if you want your text to stay together you go into insert symbol and then in there you are going to go to special characters and non-breaking space and you're going to insert that or you could use that key command control shift and space to insert them yourself so it's not just for names like that. It'd also be for addresses like 123 Belden Lane. You want all that always to be together. So you put non-breaking spaces in there so it doesn't have 123 on one line and then Belden Lane on the next. But that's all I want to talk about in this little video. So hopefully that's of use. Thank you for your time and I'll catch you on the next one.